Just a quick one, guys, before we get into today's video, we're currently doing £5 off all our Liverpool t-shirts. We have got brand new designs, so do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or going to copyclothing.com. Anyway, let's get into today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well. Before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Guys, we're so close to our goal of 40,000 subscribers, so if you haven't already hit the big red button, please do so, as we'll keep you on the straight and narrow with everything with regards to Liverpool Football Club this summer. Guys, over the last week, it has been very, very quiet with regards to transfer news in the Liverpool camp. A lot of fans getting disgruntled as they thought things were just going to happen very, very quickly after the Alexis McAllister deal. However, as I said, nothing has really emerged. We've almost become Monitor FC. You also see loads of journalists coming out about a player and then going Liverpool monitoring them, Liverpool monitoring them, Liverpool monitoring, but no sort of concrete talks. Uh, however, we did say in yesterday's video that Liverpool are confident that they will secure a deal for Turan, which is very, very exciting. However, Fabrizio Romano has spoken out with regards to another incoming as the club have open talks to sign him. We'll discuss that. But first, let's discuss a Liverpool fan favourite, that being Roberto Firmino. Yes, Bobby Firmino, first and foremost, is close to going out to Saudi Arabia. The... Um, uh, Fabrizio Romano basically came out and tweeted that he is closing in on a move to Al Ali um, out there in the Saudi Pro League. Everybody's going out there at the moment. Most of the Chelsea team have just gone out there and it does look like Bobby Firmino's next move will be there now. Um, as I said, he is a free agent um, and wasn't in negotiations with any clubs. He was linked to sort of Real Madrid's, but as I said, his destination looks like it's going to be Saudi Arabia. Uh, Fabrizio Romano tweeted, Al Ali's proposal for Roberto Firmino. Saudi club has offered Brazilian striker a contract valid until June 2026 on a three-year deal. Al Hali hoped to get it done this week to plan for medical tests between Wednesday and Friday. So yes, he is the latest or will be the latest to go out to Saudi Arabia. As I said, most people are uh, getting those invites, so it's not really a surprise, but all the best there to Roberto Firmino. Uh, but as I said, Saudi Arabia taking dead wood off a lot of teams and giving them money. If you look at the Chelsea team, they've literally shipped about six players out there. And now um, Everton are even having players maybe go out there with Damari Gray. Uh, but the only thing I'm wondering is when are Liverpool going to be getting this uh, big payday from the Saudis? Um, when are they going to start coming in for, for like Nat Phillips and try and offer 40 million quid for him? Uh, I'm looking forward to that day uh, as it will add more money to the transfer kitty going into this summer. Guys, let's get into more exciting news. As I said, Fabrizio Romano literally just tweeted minutes ago uh, stating that that Liverpool have open talks, um, open talks with regards to Romeo Lavia. Yes, Romeo Lavia has been a player that we've spoke about quite a lot on the channel. Obviously, is going to be getting a move this summer regardless. Um, obviously, down there in the championship now with Southampton, way too good for that division. Uh, but basically, Fabrizio Romano has stated Liverpool have open talks to sign Romeo, Romeo Lavia. He is on Arsenal's list, but they are prioritising other signings and sorting out players' futures before addressing him. He is on Liverpool's list. Uh, that is huge news. Uh, of course, opening talks to try and get Romeo Lavia. I did think that maybe Liverpool are going to pursue other targets but he's Premier League proven he's still at that young age as well and I think it'd be a fantastic signing however to Ram um, Romeo Lavia and maybe another one would be a fantastic midfield uh, rebuild for the football club but that's the big one there from Fabrizio Romano Liverpool open talks to try and sign Romeo Lavia does fit into FSG's business model of course because he's been relegated will go a bit cheaper but a lot of clubs are interested but as we've already known Arsenal are pursuing the likes of Declan Rice they're pursuing the likes of Kai Havertz, so probably got their attention elsewhere at the moment. So this is a perfect time for Liverpool to swoop in and try and get uh, Romeo Labia on a transfer. But huge news and uh, what a signing the club could go and get. Now, Fabrizio Romano also stated yesterday uh, in a podcast 
this was very, very exciting as well. He actually did say in the podcast, Liverpool will give priority to a physical midfielder. Kone remains on the list. Turan remains on the list. But he also said something that doesn't keep to go anywhere. This one always keeps propping up. And that's with regards to Nico Barella. He said, uh, these two names are for sure. Liverpool are also exploring Barella. Now, Nico Barella, what a fantastic player he is. Uh, a serial winner of Inter Milan Champions League final this year. A Serie A, two Coppa Italias, 26 years old, mid Fielder, and as I said, I think he'd be the top of the list. He was linked to Newcastle uh, recently, but they look like they're pursuing other targets now. And as I said, Nico Barella is said to uh, maybe want to go to Liverpool if there was an offer there. Uh, but it will all depend on Liverpool's front with regards to sort of the transfer kitty, how much they're going to spend now. We've got news around uh, Romeo Lavia. Will Liverpool actually go in for a player like Nico Barella? But I think if he if he becomes available, then you should be going in. And you're looking at a midfield there of Alexis McAllister, uh, Turam, Romeo Lavia, and then Nico Barella. What a, what a uh, summer rebuild that would be within the midfield from last week, where you're thinking, oh, are Liverpool actually going to be doing anything? To this week, where actually all oh, four targets potentially, uh, or oh, sort of three more targets potentially coming in through the door. So yeah, a bit more exciting stuff there. But Liverpool of open talks with Romeo Lavia. Huge, huge news. Bobby looks as though he's going to be going to uh, Saudi Arabia. And then, of course, um, Nico Barella being mentioned with Liverpool again from Fabrizio Romano. So, yeah, a very, very reputable journalist bringing all this information. But it looks like things are starting to move ever so slightly in this summer transfer window. That's all I've got for you today with regards to transfer news. That is it. And we'll keep you up to date with everything that happens this transfer transfer window. However, just to finish off today's video, uh, Curtis Jones had a sublime performance. Speaking of midfielders, who will have a big role next season? Uh, England under-21s, of course, beat Israel in the Euro 2021 Championships 2-0. Um, Harvey Elliott played 20 minutes, came on as a substitute, um, and uh, Curtis Jones played the full 90, and as I said, uh, was... Um, Gareth Southgate was in uh, attendance watching, but a fantastic game that he played. He played 90 minutes, 136 touches, 120 out of 124 passes completed, 97% pass accuracy, 9 out of 9 long balls completed, 3 out of 4 ground duels won. Uh, what a fantastic performance yesterday. Um, and as I said, England under 21s progressing in that tournament, of course, um, and are currently top of the group. Uh, um, as I say, one of one of the favourites. Uh, speaking about Liverpool's targets with regards to the to the under twenty ones, uh, of course, Turam uh, plays for the France under twenty ones. However, he didn't um, he didn't start the game, nor did he come on as a substitute. Uh, another Liverpool target, that being Kone, came on on the seventy eighth minute and played twelve minutes as France beat Norway. But that's all the update I've got for you with regards to uh, the last sort of the latest Liverpool news. But the big big news is Liverpool have open talks for Romeo Lavia. Do let me know your thoughts on that one down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Remember, we do have Liverpool t-shirts available on our website, so do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or go to copyclothing.com. Thank you, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.